AI is coming for your job. No job can be safe forever, but to buy time, your best bet is to pursue jobs that machines are bad at, those involving people, unpredictability, or creativity. Avoid careers that involve repetitive or structured actions in a predictable setting, like telemarketers, warehouse workers, cashiers, train operators, bakers, or line cooks. All of these are already on the brink of automation. Now, with self-driving cars on the horizon, Jobs for drivers are likely to fall by the wayside too. And even jobs you might not worry about are at risk, like paralegals, credit analysts, loan officers, bookkeepers, tax accountants. These careers aren't on the endangered list for imminent extinction, but many other elements are getting automated, meaning much fewer such jobs. Killer robots aren't fiction. We're on the verge of starting an out of control arms race in AI controlled weapons which can weaken today's powerful nations by making cheap and convenient assassination machines available to everybody with a full wallet and an axe to grind, including terrorist groups. Autonomous weapons are ideal for tasks like assassinations, destabilizing nations, subduing populations, and selectively killing a particular ethnic group. This is why leading AI researchers oppose this technology and are pushing for an international AI arms control treaty which the United Nations is going to consider this November. AI can help humanity flourish. Of course, AI isn't all doom and gloom. Since everything we love about civilization is the product of intelligence, amplifying our own intelligence with AI has the potential to help life flourish like never before. Solving our thorniest problems from disease to climate, justice and poverty. In the meantime, it's critical that we invest in AI safety research to ensure that it remains beneficial as its impact on society grows. For example, how do we transform today's buggy and hackable computers into robust AI systems that we can really trust? How can we make machines learn, adopt, and retain our goals? These are challenging questions that might take decades to answer, so we need to start a crash research effort now to ensure that we have the answers when we need them.